Our voyage has taken quite the dark turn. This was most unexpected. Curse that witch! Foraburn has transformed us into rats and kidnapped my son, Timothy! Things hardly look better for you four. If we get out of this, all that awaits you in Britain is a trial for high treason. They will try you, and very likely find you guilty. The penalty for such crimes, I'm afraid to say, is death. Such is the fate of all who rebel against the crown. Your trial will be fair, but your guilt is beyond doubt. But perhaps you do have some luck. My misfortune could be to your benefit. A captain can never abandon the sacred duty he has to his ship or crew. At any cost to myself or my family, I must remain to guard the ship. So here's my offer to you. Rescue my son Timothy and defeat Flora Burr. Bring me the witch, dead or alive, I do not care which. In return, you will be cleared of all charges. So, is there one among you crazy enough to captain this mission? Give me the kid, and maybe I'll let you go. Are you kidding me? Are you really the best blacksmith they could find to come after me? This isn't worth my time. Fatso, get rid of them. Bye bye, rat. <laughs> I've been locked down in that boat for so long that I can't even remember the last time I was at a party. But looks like the party's come to Fatso this time. Shall we dance? Sorry, Toadface. You're not my type. I'm gonna hit you so hard your ears will dance. <laughs> going on? Wakeo! Wakeo! My apologies. My little boy Kowalski is a much of a talker. But his actions speak for himself. I am King Crapper, the great and mighty king of crabs. And thanks to the great and kind Flora, we are now greater and mightier than ever. The mere thought of the treasures which Flower will bless us with, as thanks for destroying you, makes my claws tingle. Don't be greedy, little crab man. Don't you know that worldly possessions are a spiritual burden? Better give them to me. I'll dispose of your treasures safely. 
Don't make me laugh. This will be the easiest treasure we'll collect yet. Right, little boy? Crush these smacks. Grandma, Grandma, walking you. Grandma, Grandma, walking you. <laughs> Persistent, aren't you? You have the other part of the Eye of the Serpent, don't you? Give it back to me, or the child will suffer the consequences. Let go of me, witch! My father is going to beat you up! Watch your manners, brat. Your old man isn't here now, is he? I don't have time for this. Morat, take care of this scum and get the amulet back for me. <laughs> Damn witch! She got away again! Nihayat, welcome to my humble encampment. It is not every day that I have the opportunity to receive such illustrious visitors. Unfortunately, your adventure must end here. My sincerest apologies that I cannot show you the hospitality of the Ottomans with a cup of chai. It cannot be helped, however. My appetite is high. And I have my orders. Have at you!
Empire! This is not possible! Sorry, Flora. May the night give me shelter, and the shadows take pity on me. Isn't the jailer rats? Prisoner chasing prisoners. Isn't it ironic? Ha! Truly impressive. They're still alive after all that. We'll have to do a bit better, don't you think, Sharpie? Hey, Captain. Leave it to me. So long, you scabby sea bass. <laughs> That Scullywag blacksmith despises you no less than us. Now, would you consider changing sides? I'm sure we could work out an agreement if you'd consider joining us. The pay is excellent, the rum flows in plenty, and the shanties won't be beaten. All in all, a great work environment. Unfortunately, the kid will be collateral damage, of course. He's seen too much, and we can't leave any loose ends. Dead men don't bite, as they say. It'll be a quick end to him, of course, so you needn't worry about that. Do you really think that I would accept such a deal? The world is a horrible place, no doubt, but there are still people with principles, and I will fight for them. That's a shame. You seem decent, and you'd have been a great addition to the crew. But it can't be helped. Prepare to die. failed you, Captain. But this won't change anything. Flora will rip the amulet from your cold, dead hands and unleash it to power again. Mark my words. Can't you see that you're just helping her get closer to the prize?
What cute little animals the wind has brought to us today. I predicted that you would come here, sooner or later. Like rats in a maze going after cheese, you acted exactly as I expected you to. Sorry to say, but Flora's not here. You've been very mean to my companions. I think it's high time you be shown how to behave properly. And I assure you, once begun, I haven't failed to break any beast. You think you have the right to do whatever you want with animals? You know nothing about life. I hate people of your kind who think they are superior. I gave my word that you wouldn't get out of here alive. I don't break my promises. The time has come for you to taste my weep. This is Banana, my Toucan. You've met before, right? Did you know that Toucan, as well as being beautiful, are very intelligent? It's true. Just like me. Birds are splendid animals. Too bad you have him as a slave. His feathers will be a great ornament for my hair. Oh, how dare you! Well, I'm your Venus. I'm your fire, at your desire! Excellent beast! All things come to an end eventually, but this won't be mine, I assure you. We will meet again and you will pay for this. for that there amulet. <laughs> Keep talking like that, and your big head will roll in front of my feet. Shut your gob, you bells rat. I've not got a big head. It's that I've got a small body. Or, if we were out in the ocean right now, I'd parade you on the deck for shark bait. But maybe I'd be more fun to fill you full of holes, like Swiss cheese. <laughs> How did you manage to capture? It's not possible. You mean this, Roman? Your friend with peppered mug will end up with a chest full of lead himself. You may lay to that. <clears throat> I'll have no more of your gibbering and mockery. Dead men don't bite, so they don't. Batten down the hatches. Let the cannon sound. Ah! <laughs> 
lead and silver, so I do. You may lay to it, and make no mistake. As you can see, I was about to free myself. Your intervention has only slowed me down. Stop following me, or I'll have to get serious. That power has to be mine. Is he also going after the Eye of the Serpent? Crunchy little bones are mommy's favorites. Will they be sweet or salty? I can't wait anymore to find out. Shoo! No obstacle will stop me from finding Flora. Not even you, Taco. like visitors, but vermin in me lighthouse. The cats have always kept away the rodents come to steal from me pantry, but seems I'll have to take care of yous myself. Nice lighthouse. You've given it a very, uh, cozy touch. Can I have the address of your decorator? And rats are talking, and here's me with the solitude getting to me. All these years in this lighthouse by me lonesome. Or is it the devil come to torment me, baby? Maybe. Either way, the fire will purify you. That's what I call a good afternoon of fishing. Hmm. 
<laughs> Didn't your mama teach you not to go into dark places? Ugh, no more spiders, please, man. You can't imagine how much I hate spiders. Especially ones that smell of rum as much as you do. I'm going to enjoy playing with you. And when I'm done, I'll take care of Blacksmith's boy. Flora doesn't know what she's on about. The brat looks at me just like his father does. I can't wait to hang him from the rafters with the meat. Sister, these are the rats I told you about. The bullies. What a shame. I expected someone better looking. Wait, this is your sister? I know. You've been blown away by my incredible beauty and my angelic voice. It's normal. I always get that. I inherited my mother's beauty. What can I say? Actually... But stop looking at me with those lustful eyes. You're not my type. I know it's difficult, but you gotta get over it. What? No, I... Look at my long, beautiful hair. It's not easy to take care of such silky hair on the high seas, you know. It's okay, I guess, but... Enough of this chatter! You're trying to buy some time with your flattery, aren't you? Well, it won't work. I'll slap you into the middle of next week. Get ready! a natural work of art. Somebody get my eye cream!
Many years has it been since any crossed the Three Stone Gate. You must be great indeed to have won the favor of my sisters. Tell me, little mice, what seek you in these lands? Hello, Yorgai. I am in search of Flora Barn, a witch pirate. She is dominated by greed and must be stopped before she hurts more people. Indeed, they say there is a witch he rebels. However, she may not be the one you seek. Are you worthy of my aid? Defeat me, and I will lead you to her. Yours is the true strength like the heroes of old. When tested, many are ultimately found wanting. Follow me, and I will show you the way. is the witch of the forest. <laughs> Your faces tell that I am not the one for whom you search. It is not the way of things for people to find what it is they want. Is that not right? Sometimes instead, they find what it is they need. I propose to you a game. If you can defeat me, I will gift you a boon, my blessing. But should you lose, you will stay here with me and nourish the forest. What say you? Have we a bargain? I'm sorry, Yokai, but I'm not going to become your toy. I already have a destiny to fulfill. But I guess you won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Quite right. I do always get what I want. Let us begin.
Impressive. I haven't met such a hero since Cuchulain. This has been most diverting. You have earned my heart. You will have now my favor and my protection. Go in peace. Is that you? You don't look so good. I've had enough magic for today. How about you leave me alone so I don't have to pound on a pile of bones? The cauldron demands bones. And bones it will have. Ribs and vertebrae and jaw bones and teeth. So be it then.
What did you do to that kid? Blimey, you've arrived at the perfect time. After all, you can't start a party without the guests of honor. Well, you and the amulet you have. The real star of the show. <laughs> Release the kid and give me the ring. I have no more time to waste with you. Oh, for the love of... Can't you relax a bit and just enjoy the tea party? If you give me the amulet, I'll make us all human again. And we can all escape from this accursed place. Let the kid go. No. I'm getting tired of waiting. I'd rather tear my ears off with a corkscrew than listen to this brat again. He does look like an angel sleeping there. If only he could stay that way. He'd never grow up to become an anchorhead like his father. Wouldn't that just be ideal? <laughs> And perhaps the Shen will take pity on you. Refuse, and you will suffer their anger. Ho ho! We have a mutiny on board, do we? Did you bring the old guy along to scare me? Really? They should have inscribed a warning on the medallion. Warning. Contains grumpy grandpa. Open with caution. <laughs> Flora. The time has come for you to repay your debt. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, I surrender. Stop giving me such a hard time already. Jeez, between the kid and the old guy, these lectures are going to make my head explode. I mean, my tombstone will say something like, Flora Byrne, Captain Witch Villain, beloved by all who knew her, died tragically of mental fatigue. The kids, the mercenaries, and the smelly old ghosts just wouldn't shut up! <laughs> I guess you don't find my jokes funny, huh? Tough crowd. All right then, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. But I'll warn you, I don't fight fair. Fighting me is gonna feel like you've been scratched, red raw, and dunked in the ocean. Yaha! Game is over, Flora. Surrender. You have no escape. By thunder, you are some sneaky rats. I don't think I can keep up anymore. Oh no, I'm done for. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think that was it? You've fallen into my trap! 
You'll never be human again! Quick, there's no time to lose. Flora is heading back to the beach. It was all a trap from the start to get you away from the ship. Shortfuse Jones was talking about it while they held me prisoner. She was waiting for Blacksmith's men to repair the ship, so she could steal it and set sail. We have to hunt her down before she gets away or we'll lose track of her forever. You've got guts. I'll take care of the kid. Let's defeat the witch together. Wait, what's going on? It's me, Mamma Ratelli. Who's responsible for hurting my babies? No one hurts my bambini, capish? Allora, let mamma teach you how to behave properly, huh? I'll offer you a deal you can't refuse. Give me the amulet, and ask my bambini fa so i passi for forgiveness. But maybe I will only break a one of your toes. We see. If you refuse, mamma will have to punish you. First and foremost, I respect the elderly. Madam, do not make me break this tradition. I'll make a really spicy meatball out of you. I will show you la machina più migliore del mondo. More ingenious than even Da Vinci's work. More perfetto than Michelangelo's paintings. More bellissima than Ramazzotti's songs. Avanti, il paralo saurus.
Impossible. You have hurt my familia. No one hurts my familia and lives to watch the sun rise again. This will not stand. Telo Joro. You've brought me a present you shouldn't have. <laughs> you really shouldn't have. <laughs> Just you let Mother Flora take care of everything. Now, give me the ring. You have no idea of its true power. Do you really think I intend to stay a beast? Return it, and I will make us all human again. We're on the same side. You don't have any friends. Flora, if I give you the ring, you will destroy us all. Give me the amulet and I will end the curse. Surrender and I will let you escape. No hard feelings. Traitor! Fit to burst with conceit and vanity! You've no idea how I've dreamed of this moment! Ah, I'd recognize that smile even at the bottom of the ocean. Even in death you pursue me, Sammy. You were a fool. You never had what it takes. You should have stayed out of my way. But clearly, I need to knock some more sense into you. Even after all, your skull's completely empty now. <laughs> this is our last meeting. There will be no more loose ends. Rats, keep the ring if you want it, but you will never get your human form back. Goodbye, stupid amulet. You may have done the right thing. The Eye of the Serpent should not be in the hands of anyone. It is too dangerous. No! <laughs> it's just that. <laughs> How could you have fallen for that? <laughs> Sorry! Enough with the jokes now. I've seven seas to sail and a good deal more ships to plunder. Ah! Oh.
everybody, everything's coming up short fuse. <laughs> Looks like I've taken a long sea mile up the mast. Short fuse promoted, says I. Such thunderous power in the palm of my hand. Nobody, nobody will ever laugh at old short fuse again. Lay to it, lads. You're about to lay your papers on the greatest pirate of all time. Best of all the buccaneers in the world. Perfection of the piratical. Terror of the tides. Captain of all corsairs. Mightier than the Leviathan. Tougher than a cannonball. Stronger than a sailor's breath. Prepare yourselves, hearties. Behold, Long Fuse Jones. Yes. to be getting to. Sails swell and wind carry us. But first, we've got some rats aboard the ship to deal with.
We made it! We are human again! Finally! I was tired of having so much fur. It has been a challenge, but we have been able to overcome all the obstacles as a team. When I tell my brothers and sisters, they won't believe it. Right. I guess our paths must part then. That's right. I have to go back to Japan urgently to tell the Shogun everything that has happened. The Eye of the Serpent is lost forever. Better that we, that cursed object, would have been uncontrollable. You've seen what's happened here. Busa is right. You did what you had to do. I'm going to accompany you to Japan to tell them everything. I think it's still too soon for our paths to part. Thanks, Bufaro. If I am with you, I am sure everything will be fine. Are you going back to America, Busa? That's right. My people need me, and I will continue to fight for their freedom. But come and see us whenever you need something from your friend. And you, Douglas? Are you coming back with me? I don't think so. I enlisted in the American army to live adventures, but following orders is not my thing. I still have a lot to live, and a lot to explore in Ireland. I think I'll stay here for a while, see what it has to offer. It's time to separate, guys. Although, something tells me that we'll see each other again soon. <laughs>